There was a time when Samsung was known for its budget-friendly phone which offered a great value for money, but slowly Samsung lost its space and brands like Xiaomi rules the budget market now. Samsung still makes the most innovative phone with S series but not everyone can afford the same and Samsung wants to get back in the budget segment now. So they launched Samsung Galaxy M series. Now the reason I have chosen to buy M20 is because M10 is little too less powerful for a lot of people and M20 has same processor like M30 meaning both M20 and M30 will perform very identical. So let's find out if Samsung could fulfill people's expectation. First, let's talk about design. This phone is made of entire plastic which doesn't feel cheap and even it looks premium holding in hand. It has latest teardrop notch and Samsung has called it Infinity V display. Bezels around the phone are slim and a lot of people will mistake it as OnePlus 60 when it is placed on a table and that plasticky back is not visible. And yes, plastic back means phone will not shatter if you accidentally drop it from your hand. Screen is by far the best looking in this price range and gets bright enough in direct sunlight. Next thing is camera. Samsung has taken a great initiative to offer wide angle camera in 11,000 rupees phone and even a lot of expensive phones don't have a wide angle camera. Wide angle shots look pretty cool and camera performs good in outdoor lights but it disappoints in low light. I have made a dedicated video about it and if you want to watch it, you can click the i button in the right. Third thing is the performance. Samsung has improved its interface a lot and it looks far better than its earlier phone. But it's still not the smoothest interface. Phone did took hiccups at times and there were noticeable frame drops after extensive gaming. So if you want to play games, you should be looking at some other phone. Next most important thing is battery. It has 5000 mAh battery and no matter how heavy your phone usage is, still this phone can easily survive more than a day. Battery performance is exceptional and it is one of the best phone you can get for a long lasting battery. Few more things that I noticed after long usage is, to price this phone aggressively Samsung has done cost cutting on the sensors again. It doesn't have ambient light sensor, It does, but yes, it does offer auto brightness through front facing camera but that is not accurate in cloudy days. I had to adjust brightness manually in tricky light conditions. This phone also doesn't have gorilla glass and it has dragon tail glass. Face recognition unlocks the phone even when eyes are closed and even if you are looking somewhere else and fingerprint sensor is not the fastest one. So should you buy this phone? Who this phone is for? This phone is for someone who wants modern looking phone with huge battery backup and wants to execute day to day tasks. And also, if your budget is exactly 11,000 rupees, you can't spend any more than that, then yes, it's a good phone and offers a good value for money for this price. If you are brand conscious about Chinese companies and you want a trusted brand in less amount, then M20 is a great option for those people. Overall, M20 is not a perfect phone. But you also can't demand more than this for 11,000 rupees from a brand like Samsung. And we really appreciate the step taken by Samsung for coming back in the budget market. That's it for this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching.